colleagues for letting me uh, jump ahead. I appreciate it very, very much. I want to see if I've got this right. Um, we're going to train people inside of Syria to fight ISIL rather than training them outside of Syria. Equip them inside and train them inside, right? New strategy. Uh, yes, that's where they are. Okay, so you know, count me in for trying to help. Do we still want to replace Assad? Oh, is, ab ab absolutely. I think is that a goal of ours? A, a, yes, a transition from Assad to okay. a government okay. of Syria that is G General Dunford and moderate right. and together. Absolutely. Right. General Dunford, uh, is it smart to let ICE, uh, Russia fight ISIL and we stay out of the fight? Uh, Russia is not fighting ISIL, Senator. But that wouldn't be a good idea to rely on Russia to fight ISIL for us. Senator, I think we need to be engaged in advancing our own national interests. We have a national interest okay. in dealing with ISIL, and okay. we should be doing that. Okay, we here's do the it question. More effectively. I'm not confident that Russia right. is, is effective, it I, be effective I, at doing I'm that. A, I'm a million percent with you. Are we going to supply air support for the people we train to fight ISIL? We are, Senator. Do those same people want to take a side down? The ones that we are supporting right now are focused on ISIL. Do they have a goal to take a side down? Uh, Senator, I don't know. Uh, what do you mean you don't know? Well, the ones we're supporting, we, I don't know because the folks Don't you think most people in Syria want two things? They want to fight, they want to destroy ISIL and get rid of Assad, the person who's killed 250,000 of their family? Uh, Is that really a mystery? No, it's not. Senator. It's not a mystery. Okay. Is Russia going to fight for Assad? Russia is fighting for Assad. Will Iran fight for Assad? They are doing that, sir. Will Hezbollah fight for Assad? They are doing that. When the people we train to fight ISIL turn on Assad, which they surely will, are we going to fight with them to replace Assad? I can't answer that question, Senator. Can you answer it, Secretary Carter? Yeah, just to be clear, uh, let's take the... What? That day is coming. G.G. Kurds. It, well, I... I, I the. Do you see a scenario where the people just, in Syria the, don't the take on Assad? The people that, we're, are, that we are equipping are people who live in uh, or come from ISIL-occupied territory. And they're Do very, they want to take Assad down? On defeating ISIL. And Do going they want to take Assad down? For the most part, they're focused on defeating Do they ISIL. want to take Assad? Have you asked them? We know what their intent is, and it is to fight ISIL. Come on. Fighting ISIL now. You know, as well as I do, both of you know, that the average Syrian not only wants to destroy ISIL, but they're going to intent on destroying Assad because he's killed 250,000 of them. And here's the question for this committee. How do we leverage Assad leaving when Russia's going to fight for him, Iran's going to fight for him. Hezbollah's fight for him. And we're not going to do a damn thing to help people take him down. And y'all both know that. So when Kerry goes over to Geneva, he is turning over Syria to the Russians and to the Iranians. Is there any credible military threat to Assad now that Russia, Iran, and Hezbollah is on his side? Do you see any credible military threat to take him down, General Dumpert? I think the balance of forces right now are in Assad's advantage. Not his advantage. He is secure as the day is long. So this is what's happened, folks. The strategy is completely falling apart. Russia, Iran, and Hezbollah are going to fight for their guy, and we're not going to do a damn thing to help the people who want to change Syria for the better by getting rid of the dictator in Damascus. Do you see a scenario, Secretary Carter, where we would fight to support an effort to take a side down, that we would fight alongside of people who want to take a side down in Syria? Is that remotely possible? We are, our approach to removing Assad has been to... Uh, Does it have a military component? It is principally a political effort in Syria. So the our answer is no. Is our military effort. Are we going to fight with people who want to take a side down? Are we going to provide them military help? Our train and equip program. The answer is no. Is the answer is no. Supportive of people so fighting let me ISIL. just end this. If I'm Assad, this is a good day for me. Because the American government has just said, <laughs> without saying it, that they're not going to fight to replace me. 
the Russians and the Iranians and Hezbollah, this is a really good day for them because their guy has no military credible threat. So now you tell me what kind of deal we're going to get, folks. I'm sure we'll get a really good deal with this construct. So what you've done, gentlemen, along with the president, is you've turned Syria over to Russia and Iran. You told the people in Syria who died by the hundreds of thousands, we're more worried about a political settlement than we are about what follows. All I can say, this is a sad day for America, and the region will pay hell for this because the Arabs are not going to accept this. The people in Syria are not going to accept this. This is a half-assed strategy at best.